not to talk too long. So uh, if you hear it again afterward, it'll be, it, it can be efficient. I suggest that instead of me giving it a it, which might interest, maybe yes, maybe no, maybe you ask, how do you think, how do you see that you know my, you know who I am, you know my past, I'm about Shuve, I was in show business until 40 years ago. I was 40 years then, and because the Bobo took us out, my wife calls us Holocaust survivors. Took us out from the, from the Holocaust, which is Marish, where we were. Money, honor, Tavis, all our lovers in. And we are now, the, you can write in your uh, record books, that you are so today the happiest person in the world. We are, happy doesn't mean we laugh all day. But it means, you know in Hebrew, happy means you have, you, you have an assertion, Ishu. Echolim Ishu, you are Ishu. Ishu. Permission. 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 Permit. 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 You know that you are doing the right thing. You are in the right place. You are doing the right thing. You are, you are, be, 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 in, in our streets called Tabaketa. You are there. You are, you should, uh, the only place where, where being means something. All the other things, everybody is to you. Nothing, nonsense. So, this is my past. And I'm not from the but what I can bring, uh, try to bring some uh, toilet, some uh, toilet, some uh, benefit is maybe in the way of Bani Chumas, in the difficulties, the best we have to do, what is, what's the name of the game, what are we doing at all? So maybe you ask, you, you try and uh, direct me to subjects that you are really interested in, which I can help. If I want to hear what I say, I won't. But if I can help, please. So talk say. Almost all the boys here, they grew up kind of Kamedei Hagoyim in America, even though they're Jewish. And they had their two years here, and now probably 90% of the next uh, LL are going to be in university. So these are going to be the next coming professionals. So they actually got a taste of Torah, and now they're going. I mean, half of them are going to go to Yeshiva University. How do you know? How many going guys are going to college next year? This you see now. Finish my finish my talk. Maybe you. Will, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my life at all. I was sure that what I do, I was, I was making films, I was a creator. I didn't do, I wasn't producing any money. I dealt with uh, things which have to do with my soul, my spirit, imagination, creative. I was creative. It was what you call today in the second life, full life. Full life. We have to understand and to know Again, what's the name of the game? What are we? What are we here for? What's what is all thing? The creation, and it is a creation. It is nothing in this world is what you call logical, normal. Nothing. It's a miracle. Every instant is a miracle. Mamish. So we are going to learn. I don't know biology. Eh, 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 Life is a miracle. You cannot, you, there's no way to, 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 uh, uh, to deny this. Put your hands here, you feel your pulse. Or is mine, or even? Something like 80 pulse in a minute. Sounds like a race. So this, and it's the heart, of course, and it 
takes in the blood and pushes it away. Every taking in and pushing away, there will be this part of the a door there, which closes so the blood which pushes forward will go backward. So this is the pulse, right? It, it transmits every 24 hours 7,000 liters, which means 28,000 glasses of blood. This small engine here, this Mashiva. You never saw a machine working without electricity, without gasoline. What makes it move? What makes it? What is what's the whole thing? What makes it move? What makes it work? For 100 years, day and night, day and night. Energy work for what? So, any person is a miracle. <coughs> Somebody wants to, to object this, it's probably a miracle. So, life is a miracle. And the Kanpoku makes this miracle every minute, every second. Consciousness, the greatest miracle in the world. Not only consciousness, but self-consciousness. The only creature in the world that can say the word, the unbelievable world, word, Mila, word, I. A cat doesn't know the she or he. It doesn't know he. It doesn't say I. I was okay. I wasn't okay. I didn't behave as I should. Who is talking? Who, who says these words? And to whom? I'm talking to myself. What is this part that looks at myself and says to myself, "You didn't behave as you should." Who, who, who is it? Who? What's the name of this I? A miracle. There is a book written by an American uh, uh, brain surgeon. It's called, I mean, he was called Ophahari Ganeden, Son of Paradise. Did you read it? it was, uh, he's a Gentile and he was a uh, brain surgeon and he got a uh, clinic, clinical death. It was a three four days. Moody. How do you call it? Professor Moody. Okay. And he was out, he was out, and he was, he, his soul went up, and he writes a book, a whole book, you should read this book. There's no question about it. So why is the Kodesh Bogu making this miracle? What for? Can somebody answer this question? What is the attackness? What's the aim? What is the purpose of this thing? Please? If you don't know the title of this thing, we don't know what we're doing here. Chaverim, Sicha. It's a very basic question. What are we doing? We live, which is a miracle, and, and after 120, we're going to better. What did we do? Did we, do? Did we, we know the name of the game? We know what, what, what's going on, what you're doing here? Ramchal says it, in Derech Hashem. We are here in a passage that we can win eternity. The winning of eternity and eternity itself is not something you do here and you'll get it at the end. Why working on this Nitzrius, on this eternity, on this Kedushi, on this sanctity, of this being closer and closer to the Shbohu, you are, you, are, you, are, you are becoming, you are becoming more Kodesh. You are becoming, this is what life is all about. This is what life is worth living for. All the other things are what? You'll be a biologist, you're a mathematician. So you find, you, not only money, okay, so you find a very, Albert Einstein, the greatest scientist in the whole world, very, very, very great. He changed the whole focus of science. He, he told us this, what E is MC by what? MC by what? Wonderful. What does it have to do with my life? What does it have to do with the topic of life? With real happiness, with real goodness. What, what does it have to do with this? He, he taught us a law in the nature. One of the laws of the Kodesh Bible. No, this is what we are for? To find out the laws of the Kodesh Bible? Or go inside. We are here. to make, to live in such a way that every day, every hour, every minute, 
become closer and closer to this this uh, this purpose become closer to the Polish Bohu become a slave a, a faithful slave to this purpose by winning against nature winning the fight against nature imposing the laws of toil on our life more and more become more and more saintly not in the Christian way Bohemian means more and more less and less slaves to the powers of nature more and more slaves to his rebellion of will until we can get to such a degree that we become completing the way the Gomorrah began by the creation. We are complete, we are finishing this way, become partners. Petrivia Hoti Rayati and Tomat Tamati. Tamati in Shira Shin we say Tamati. I don't have to say Tamati, you are the whole you are you are you are, you are so wholesome. You are Tamati. Says Hazar, don't say Tamati or Tomati. You are my twin. No ani gadol mi me you are not greater than me. I am greater than you. Can you hear such a word? Because Bobo says to each one of us. Okay, Bobo says in his modesty, I am greater than you. But when they say you are also not greater than me, what was the Hava Amina? You don't have to say Hava Amina in English. There is not such a word, Hava Amina. What was, what was the, I would say, the, I would say that Bobo has to say to us, you are not greater than me. Can you understand such a thing? Only the Jewish people. Only we. I'm not uh, this army, racial, the CIAL, no, because every human being can be a Jew. Every human being can be a Jew. He can be Chinese in his breast, he can be black, white, red, whatever he is, he can become a Jew. He converts, he accepts this yoke of this tafkid, of this task, doing the descent, and he is a Jew. Unkerus, Rabbi Akiva ben the greatest, greatest people in the world. So, if you, you want to be a Jew, yes, I was born to a mother, a Jewish mother. I am Jew, I, 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 I don't have a way, not, nothing. To understand the task, to understand the destiny, to understand the aim, the purpose of me being here and fulfilling it, this is a Jew. This is what we are for. Think it over. Again, it's not, it's not easy. 100% not easy. I give you an answer, a good answer. And by this, I finish the first part of the speech, then please ask questions. Don't, you cannot jump. You cannot say, I'm leaving now all my plans, all my programs. I'm not going to university. I go to Yeshiva. If there are such heroes here, but if you don't have this power, and I didn't have this power, what do I do? I won millimeter by millimeter. I won. Another five minutes still. Another changing deeds, changing time, winning time by minutes, winning a broche. Baruch ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech Haolam Sheakol Niyamido. Why be Dvaro? Now what they call? Let's learn. Let's see what's in this Torah. There's no, the whole world in the whole civilization, no such even beginning being the wisdom of the Torah. Nothing. I learned philosophy, I learned literature, I, I was in the university, I learned nothing in this world even comes to be touching the wisdom, the, the godly wisdom of the Torah. And it's ours here to make our brains understand it, to change our brains to think in a total way, to change ourselves, to become, to be born. To the apostle, my son, I gave you birth today. The was already born a person. I, every day you are being born again in this chasene, in the chasene with the Kodesh Bog. When I said, Pichilia, Hotir, Ayatir, Tavidadi, Kubo talks to each other else, 
איזה חוסן טוב שזה קל. Let's, let's marry and, and be born a new, and a new, and a new. Nothing in this world become, comes close to this, to this life. This is what living is all about. Do it, slowly, not too slowly. Do it as much as you can. Another five minutes, another third. Your point of view will change. You'll become B'nai Tere. You'll be born Ben Torah. We say Ben Torah, the son of the Torah. From this connection with the Kodemon, through the Tere, only Tere. Not an built in Tere, the good bit. To be, to be uh, attached, be to him, say, suit here. Sorry. It's attached. Dvei kus, dvei kus, you know, uh, that it's only today, today the fashion is, dvei kus, dvei kus, it can be also dangerous. Because uh, the Christians know how also to do, to do it. They go on the mountains, they don't eat, they don't sleep, they don't eat, they are taken. This is through to you, the weight of God. How can I get closer? With, within the structure of the earth. This is the real center of life. This is the Neshome. This is where you become really attached. As a marriage, you become one. Dveikus. Not only Dveikut, attachment, Dveikut. Dveikut. The old, the, 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 the Hashem says, the Hashem says, the Bible who invented this Torah for this ability for us to be clean to the Bible, and the first place in the Torah where it appears, I mean, that was it, Arkei Nazot Ishtavi Vekimo Vedavak Vishto Vasar Echad. This is what happened with Chos and Kali. They became one, become one, and they're being born in their child. Two become one. What a miracle. To become one. Whatever it is. This is the connection with us. Chasen. Each one can do it. And I tell you, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. It's not easy. There are many misyoines, many uh, experiences. Challenges, experiences. Yes, you fall many times. And you stand up again. And from the falling, you learn your next step. From what you fell, you learn the next step. Ah, I understood that from my, my falling down and said, what was I was told? What was, what was, where I was mistaken? I was mistaken here and there. I, I'm doing better. This is it. It was life is about. Okay. Any questions? <coughs> yeah, what made you uh, want to become religious? Into, uh... I met a person was exactly the man who makes the movie. He's a shakri. The man is a shakri. He gives the right person, the right rabbit to the right people. And he was from Germany, West Europe, and he was kind of bad sugar, an orphan from a very young age, and he found his way, and he proved to me. He proved, he said to me, I will prove to you that this is the end. How did you do it? You can have so many ways to find it's very easy. The Kuzri uh, brings a, a very... I, I, I'm ready to give you what was the knockout, my knockout. I'm not sure that... Uh, you usually don't say so much. And you heard it on the book, I was not naive. Yes? No, 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 no. Thank you. He said to me, how did religion, uh, religious began. How did religion begin? In, 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 in civilization. I was in a socialist organization, communist, leftist, liberal. So they were taught us that comes a great reformer, a great person, who wants to change, to make the people more moral, more social, more united. So he invents a system and he said to you should be doing this and this. Because people were primitive, he says to them, and there is an Almighty. If you'll do His thing, you'll be you'll be rewarded. 
ובירונדו איזה מיקניק, תודה רבה לכם על הלכה. תודה. ברוך אתה, אדוני גדול, אלוהים מלך העולם, שהכל יהיה מלוך. This is a religion of faith. It's a very logical, very logical, all religions. So it has to have a moral ground. Don't steal, don't murder, don't hate. Behave as you should behave, and on a moral status. Please tell me, Sir Timothy, what social basis, what moral basis is there in such a law that an old lady sits on a certain day in the week, it's all shabbos, weekend, and she knits. And two witnesses come in with long beards, very unkind, <laughs> antipathic, and they say, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah, Shabbos, you, you, the Shabbos, yes, yes, Shabbos. You can have some chon there, the chon. Bobe, in the waist, you know that this is work do I say, Mickey? Yo, oh, yes, yes, I heard about it. Please, please don't be so clean, eat some chon. Bobe, we warn you. You, you know the pine tree says yes. She makes two knits, two knits. You take her out and you stone her. What did she do? What did she do? She stole, she murdered, she hit somebody, she writes two minutes. So she writes two letters, Aleph Bet, ah, it was stolen. What moral basis <laughs> is in this law? What social basis? There's only one of two possibilities. No human mind can invent such a law. No human mind will have any logical basis to invent such a law. Why? No religion in the world has such a law. So one of the either is the craziest people in the world. The Babish Obi Shuke hundred percent. There is no nuts for whom that can accept them because they are more Shuge than the great Mishugas. Nobody can invent such a thing. The stone and old lady who needs to make two lula. Oh, it's a godly word, a godly law, one of two possibilities. No human mind can invent it. To say that these people, that including them, the Rambam, and the Ramban, and the Rashi, the Goy, have a 40% of, uh, of winning Nobel Prize are Jews. To say that these people are machine us, a little bit difficult. Rambam, Tamu, a little difficult. So one possibility. It's a godly law. You can understand what Shabbos is. You understand what the definition of where it is. Then you understand that the godly word is a godly law. <coughs> this was not I didn't know because I learned history. I knew what, what the host historians talk about. Nobody can say one word on the Jewish people. They say, the, the honest ones in them say, the, the Jewish people are historical, are historical. They, we cannot evaluate them, we cannot define them, we cannot explain this phenomenon which called the Jewish people in any historical way, in any historical means. We cannot. For 3,400 years, in this 3,400 years, 2,000 years in exile. A Jew in Yemen and a Jew in Ukraine. The Jew in Yemen eats, eats uh, Jahnun, you know what Jahnun is? And the Jew in Ukraine eats sweet, gefilte fish, ichs. And <laughs> this one is putting a Steiger like a Kozak, and he goes like an Arab Saudi, and they put the same feeling, and the same shoifa, and the same matzeh, and the same lure. 3,400 years. This is it. There's a birth of the world and the Jewish people as his people because we accept it, his laws and we do it without the police, without the government, with the powers against his powers. They fight against the Jewish people. Against. Just 
uh, I will be Shtachavor. Just go bow to this cross and you give your life and money and your children. I cannot. I cannot do this. Because the Kavor said that instead of this, I have to die. Three Aveyas. Away the Zore. How do you say it? Uh, uh, adultery. Bloodshed. I will. Yes. I will. I will worship you. I will worship you. This are the thing. So doing this, he goes with his children and he's burned on the fire not to do this. Your grandfather. Grand grandfather did it. Why? And you are a Jew because of him. And still a Jew because of that. They were burned and tortured. And they didn't leave this truth. This was the truth. Can you deny this food. <coughs> Any more questions? Yes. If Hashem was led you to this person, he gave you all these answers, why didn't he give you this person 20 years before? I think I wouldn't hear. I was told about it many, many times. Why 40 years? I wouldn't hear. Because the Bible is very patient. We should be patient all with our children. To know when to when to say what, not to press. It was the right time. I think so. You can ask about Rabbi Akiva. I'm not the super I'm also 40 years old. Rabbi Akiva. All the turn and turn Rabbi Akiva. Why do we go for 40 years? I don't know. I don't even answer. I don't know. I think I'm going to give it for you. Okay. Yes. 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 When you were in your past, when you were still like making films and stuff, that you thought that uh, something was a little bit off, maybe like you weren't like the happiest you could have been, or you weren't like on the right path. If I was not so happy there doing the things, yeah, did, you ever, had, did it ever occur to you at all, or no? I was. You cannot imagine because if I was to divorce, and possibly we would divorce, because it couldn't can work. I mean, uh, the, the way we live, I live. And my, my wife is a very good study girl. She, she, she was a different person. We were divorced. I would, I would take any care. I mean, my children, they have three children, then they would be thrown, drugs, whatever. Nothing would stop me. I didn't even think about. If you ask me, are you happy? I said, what does it mean? This is it. This is what I'm living for. I'm creating. I'm creating. I was in this profession. Another thing, I wasn't me. The Torah leads you to be you, to the inner, real me, the individuality which is the real. Not, not. You ask to that person, what are you? Said I am. I am a mathematician. I am a biologist. I am a doctor. I didn't ask you a profession. What are you? I didn't even understand the word. What I am? This is name. I, I am. I am what I'm doing. There's the inner I. We have to reach to it. We have to recognize it. Only the Torah leads us. So if I, I didn't have any, any, any doubts. Any doubts at all. Yes. So what made you decide to become the person you are now as opposed to like a modern Orthodox type of Jew? I understood that there is, we have, to, we are reactionary. We go backwards all the time. The world moves forward, and they call it advancement. We are very advanced. Today, in the world, we killed 50 million people. people. In the Middle Ages, we were 500 killed, or, or, or 1,000 killed, or 5,000 killed. It was a Holocaust. We are very advanced. We kill. Look at the youth, how they behave, how primitive they are how technologically we are so advanced and philosophically we are going backwards. Where is, where is our Plato? Where is Aristotle? I'm talking about the uh, R. Where is Michelangelo? Where is Ronaldo? Where, where are they? They are coming down and down and down. Wait, wait. So, it, the Jews say the other way around. They say we have to attach to our past. Our previous generation much greater than us. And the only way that I found that they are trying to do this thing, at least how I know that they are, I know better than you how much ill there is there. 
everywhere. But I, I, I found the tzaddikim. I found the really great tale. I found the real people who are real. And I, I, they were my teachers. My Rebbe, Chav Zilberman, Zerat Tzadik Baruch had 18 children, nine boys and He knew all the Europe, European culture. <coughs> Every Hegel, Kant, and philosophers, Nietzsche, he knew everything. Art, he knew Van Gogh, and he knew Botticelli, all the painters, all the musicians. And such a man was such a, the, the mystery, and, and, and he, a, a, 18 children is not taking one many, and he lived in a hut. If not the books holding the city, he would fall out of the floor. Only the books held it. Such a hut in Shari Chesed. And I saw, and as I saw, he took an image, an Erle A straight person, a good person. Straight, he, 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 uh, honest, honest. He said to me, the first time he said to me, listen, I don't have time to waste. If you are right, I'm coming with you now to Tel Aviv. Prove it to me. If I'm right, I come now to Jerusalem. Are you ready? He said, I didn't give a chance if he's right. He said, yeah. And you'll come to Tel Aviv? He said, yeah, if you prove to me that what you are doing the way you live, this is the evidence, this is the right thing, I come now to Tel Aviv. He didn't take any chance. He knew that I wouldn't be able to do it. But it's a lie. What can we do? Yes. Yeah. Now when you're like learning or doubting, do you ever get like distracted from, do you ever get, do you ever have like distractions when you're learning or doubting from like things from the past and? I do you ever get distracted by like, oh, by what was by, by things from the past when you're like learning or doubting? I tell you what I did. After being here, I don't know, eight years, ten years, something like that, I just said, maybe I'm cheating myself. What is what you ask? Yeah, maybe I'm distracted by my life, by, by my past. I, I called the person that you were sitting there and smoking pot and being there, and doing the, everything there. And I said, maybe we meet some, bring all the friends, he brought all the friends, we came there. I said to them, after five minutes, if I would be ashamed, I would stand up and run back to Jerusalem. It was so boring. It was so boring. I care today, it's a miracle. I said, to be born anew. To be born in you, I'm a new person. For me, films was everything. I lived films, I dreamt films, I worked like hell. I, this was everything. And I wasn't so bad in this thing. I, and I had plans for it more and more and more. Today, you say to me, look at the film. I, I cannot look at it for five minutes, I'll be bored. I'll be bored. This means the Kodesh Bobo does the work. We have to want to do it. You have to give a chance to the world. Peaceful in Petra Shemudajwan. Open up a pinhole, said the Holy Book. I open for you the gates of the whole world. It's the same with Chazal. So I'm not distracted. I, 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 uh, I, I, I don't long for this life at all, at all. And I don't have time because I'm advancing all the time. You have to understand, not to be religious. You dub in the same day, and the same way, you go down three times and then I'm ready. It's it's the, it's an adventure, an unreal adventure. You are probably taking more and more to yourself, more and more to the shaman, more and more close to the Bohu. You become more and more free, free from this world, more and more strong. It's an unbelievable adventure. <coughs> this is it. I think excuse me, can I did you get an answer to your question or you have a different question? Like flashbacks. Huh. Yeah, like, like when you're I thought he meant like this. I think mean, that applies to us also. You know, I did have errors sometimes, I did whatever this, and now I'm a uh, Bentayra. But sometimes I'm not learning uh, Babatsiya, and I think of uh, this happened and this happened. Is that what you meant? Yeah. I'm an old Shemines, so almost like this comes back. It happens, I, it happens all the time, of course it does. Our duty is to free ourselves from this, because it's stupidity, it's an imagination. And, and the body wants, ah, yeah. And there is ways to win against this war. It's a war. It's a war also not only in uh, yeah. you, you see today, you look at, you look at a woman. The, 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 the imagination jumps right away, of course. Uh, everybody, Moshe Rabbeinu also, everybody. So how do you win this war? And when you win this war, 
you become more and more I don't like the holy words. You become more and more real. You become more and more in the real world. Less and less in the imagination. Less and less in the careers that this world offers. Money. I know people with a lot, a lot of money. I know. I, I know them. I, I, I know government, prime ministers and presidents. I know the stupidity. I'm, I'm crying. Tell me, some of them are my friends. I'm crying. How can the business still there? What are they doing? The minute this corridor will be finished, the minute, and the soul become free, and it's sudden, you have to read this book, of this, this uh, surgeon, uh, brain surgeon. The minute, oive, oive, this is it. This is, this is the re reality. What did I do till now? What did I do in this corridor? What did I do here? We have to think about this seriously, I always say. To, to, to not be afraid to think. Don't be afraid that you'll smash our dreams. To smash a dream is good. It hurts sometimes. It puts you really, really. You become mature. You become mature. More serious. More real. But it's good. This is what I'm doing till, till this minute, all the time. Firstly, I want to say thank you very much for being so honest with your answers and for sharing so much of your past with us. I want to ask, so you were telling us that you had a lot of creativity and you were, you were using your creativity in the past. So, uh, what, firstly, what do you do with your creativity now? Because ah, that's, that's a must of yours. You can't give that all up. I can't give all up. I can't give all if, if creativity is part of who you are, you can't just yeah, give yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And what do other people do that they, have, they feel so connected to something so obviously they can't just throw that away. Not everyone can sit down and learn tarot all day. I understand. I'll tell you about my creativity. And maybe it has to do with everybody, but I tell you about mine. What I did here, I took ideas, stories, it, or, or, or some life that I lived. I usually make films about my own life my friends, my life, what I reveal, beauty, beauty and humor, and, and things that I liked very, liked very, I loved it. I, I, so I made from this film, I, I filmed it, I cut it, I attached music and sound, and I made from this, you know, uh, films is a symphony of pictures, it's like music. It's the time, it's also what's happened in the frame, and all the time it takes to change from the frame to the frame. It's cutting time, it's, it's organizing tunes or pictures in time. And so I was, I gave my power of creativity to a very certain narrow field first. This was my life. <coughs> I not only gave up beauty, I found the deep, deep real creativity here. What? Why? How? I I defined it with with, with uh, concept from, from the from the movies. The script is written by the Kurdish Bogu. The material where I made this script be is my body, is my life, is my spirit, is my ideas. I, 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 instead of putting the ideas on, on, on celluloid, on films, on video, I put it in my, on myself. I change the way I talk, I change the way I think, I change the way I love, love. This is the most important power in the world, the only way was love is taught is taught. No faculty in the whole world teaching love. The Kamocha is the same love, which is the whole tale. He led, the guy came to said, Tell, teach with the whole tale said, Avtalecha Kamocha, which is the same love to understand the deepness of this thing and to learn how to love. 
Yaol, not you made yet. I tell you, you made it, Hashem. You have to learn from the Toyo how to build love. Love is nothing something that happens. And then you say, you fall in love. He walks on this stage, he gets, and he sees there, and then bang, and it becomes slow motion, and then we say, the music, nah, and then, and then, this is a bluff. Because he takes her home, and he opens the floor, and he sees who he brought, we're telling a box, or even a matter of money, and who do you bring home? <laughs> this is the bluff. To build love, to see the beauty in, in this other person. To find the beauty. To identify the enemies which distort you from seeing this beauty. Beauty of the soul, beauty of the body, beauty of the eyes. <coughs> this, this person that I look into his eyes or her eyes and I want, I want her, not her body. The body is a, is a means for being connected together. But we really want to be connected not to bodies, not to people, it is two people to be one. This is love. And Simane Care, the symptom of love, how do you recognize love? Is it becomes stronger and stronger. I am today eight years old. Bees, hundred and twenty. You know, be quicker, please. <laughs> eight years old. Amen. Amen. I am eighteen. My wife is 76, or I'm around 75, or I'm not exactly. We love each other today more than we were 30 years old. More. More. There's nothing to do with our bodies. The bodies are, you use the bodies. So, I, I, the script is the Kodesh Bobo. My body, my feelings are being built according to the script as love, the most important power in the world. And I, by the way, when you say Shmai Sashem, Echod, Echod, the Gimatia, the number of the Oishas is 13. Ahava, love, is also 13. If a person wants to be exempted, the, the obligation of making business a table, he slept in the middle of the night, he slept, he wants to be, so he is exempted, business a table, but he says, Ave Rabe. We are still saying Ave Rabe in the morning. And Ave Rabe in the evening, you are exempted the mitzvah of Birkes Atoyo. What is love to do with Toyo? This is the whole thing. Toyo teaches us how to love. The most important value. So I learned from the spirit. And I put it into myself. And I sculpture it. As Michelangelo, when he made Moses, I saw it. As we stood, say Moses in Italy, in Florence, there is a, a, a statue called Moses. It is very, very impressive, very impressive. <coughs> it's, not, it's not much from the Bible, but according to to a Goyish Cop, it's very impressive. <laughs> so I stood there, and and they asked him, Michelangelo, <coughs> how did you do it? He said he was there. He was in the rock. I took off what hide hid it, hid, what hid it. I took this, the word that was said, Pesel, is in Hebrew, to take off a tapsoyis, to take off from the stone what is masur, posolit, it said what is not good. You take the not good out, the pasel. He said he was there. It's the same about myself. The love is there. I didn't recognize it. I didn't know it. I take off. The, the, by the Torah teaches me how to take off these layers of uh, hergel, of, uh, of uh, the way you are used to do, you know, of social habits, of psychological habits, of genes which work on you. You become free from everything. You become, you become free from all the powers, natural powers, and you sculpture out from your soul, this love, this wisdom. So the creativity here, not only, is not a great, this is creativity. This is 
Not the film. When did you when did you last time see Charlie Chaplin? <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say never. Never. And there was no one in the world who didn't see Charlie Chaplin five times a week. Five times every week. Charlie Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin. Who remembers it? What is this creativity? You don't know who Fellini is, you don't even remember. Nobody has asked boys, who the, what is Charlie Chaplin? <coughs> Nothing, all this. But uh, Johann Zakai is my teacher today. He teaches me today how to love my wife in my home and how to educate my sons to become real people, to be happy, real happy, Musharim. To teach them how to be creative, how to 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 take off the the things which cover their personality, real personality, not the personality which is a, a, a result of the social uh, conditions or the psychological conditions or, or, or the accidentally this school that I learned in. <laughs> all this to be real inside. So not only that I miss it, this is what creativity is all about. Creativity. Yes. I want to suggest something. We can, we can talk for hours, and I have still today some which I have to leave Judah to go to Newark, and I have to leave. I, I want to thank you very, very much for meeting me. It's a great Baruch Hashem, Jewish people in our world, to be in Yeshiva, to learn Taylor, to be, to be uh, what you are, and you can see. Baruch Hashem, I am here and I plan to be here for another hundred years. I, uh, this is my plan. So, whenever, wherever, and I'm not saying it as a, 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 a cordiality, I don't say nimus, I say it really. Somebody, anybody wants to talk, wants to, to clear some points, I am at your disposal. Arav Bina and Maskara Yoda, they know how to get me. I, want, I don't want to give my telephone number so because they, but uh, they know how to, uh, I, I'm here in Jerusalem and whatever, on the phone, or meeting, whatever you want. First on the phone, to hear what, what is the, the issue, and to see if I can be any help. But then afterwards we can meet, we can talk, you do everything. Be'ezrat Hashem, this is what we are here for, to try to help each other. I want to thank you very, very much.